Okay, th this is a video about how to reset an OC821D. <clears throat> These are used with AT&T uh, security systems, which you can use them with any system. This one's a, a used one, works per perfectly fine. Um, you can see the, the number right there. I'm going to do a real quick demo of how to reset one, how to set it up with your uh, um, Wi-Fi network. Um, very easy. I'm just going to put it together here real quick. Um, you want to make sure that you've got, uh, this goes to my router. Get a hard line. You have to set them up with a hard line or an Ethernet line. You can't set them up wirelessly. You have to set them up with a hard line to your router and then just plug in the power there i'm going to set that right there for now usually it takes i'm sorry for the rough angle of the camera here i'm kind of in a hurry um usually it takes about two minutes for them to boot up a minute or so you'll hear them click um, while it's doing that, I'm going to show you my computer screen. Um, I have a Netgear router. Um, this is, you got to access your router. You got to know how to do that. If you can see right there, um, my, to get into your router, pretty much any one of them, routerlogin.net. will take you there. www.routerlogin.net will get you in any, any Netgear one. Um, according to whatever you have, um, the, usually you can look on the bottom of your router and it'll tell you how to access, um, the, uh, to access the administrative part of your router. Um, just look on the bottom of it. Like I said, um, and you can do that wirelessly. I'm, my laptop is hooked up to it wirelessly, but the camera needs to be hooked up directly to the router to get it set up. Okay, I think that clicked. Let me see. All right, give me one second here. Just getting everything typed in. All right, you got it. It'll have the access to everything on the bottom of your router whatever your password to get in on, on it is usually it's admin password um, to get in any router but some of them are different so and once you get your router you want to change that because everybody kind of knows that you don't want people accessing your router all right so i usually go to advanced on mine you can go to any one of them i go to administration um, i look for attached devices Okay, now I already have one uh, camera hooked up that I use. We're going to go to the one that I want. So these right here are hardwired. So I know that that one's, I use it. This is the one that I'm showing you how to hook up. So look for the IP address. So it's 10, the one IP address of this one is 10.0.0.15. Now your router might assign a 192 number to it or something like that, but you, all you do is open this up, look for attached devices. And if you don't have anything else hooked up, um, you can see SC, it's going to start with SC, D2, F2, you know, it's going to be SC for CERCOM. And then remember, memorize that IP address. So mine's 10.0.0.15. So I already had tested one out. It was one three. It assigned it a different number. So we're going to put one five in here. And backspace it. Just all you do is just type that IP address in the address line. Hit enter. Okay, and that's going to come up. Then you go to administration. Okay, and the username on these OC cameras is just administrator. Look 
Okay. And just hit sign in. Okay. And now you're in the camera. Um, now, if you want to set it up wirelessly, you just go to the wireless section right here. Or wait, let me see. It might be network. It's been a while since. No, no. Go to the wireless part right here. Um, and put the SSID and, um, let me see here. Whatever your, uh, most of them are that one right there. WPA, WPA2, personal. Yours might be different. Just look on your router to see what, um, protocol is, is the wireless protocol on your router um, pick the appropriate one click it um, and then you'll put the SSID which is the username and then the password which is whatever you set up the password on your wireless router go ahead and set that up get it in there um, and then you can do a site survey to see what's broadcasting. This one might not pick up because I'm so far out. Yeah, okay. And so that's the router that we're on. Um, Netgear 84 is the closest one. That's just people around me. I've got another router going here, but so that's the strength on the one I use for cameras is my Netgear 84. Um, and you can, you know, that whenever you do this right here on your wireless network, you know, that it's picking up on that camera wirelessly because it's doing a scan from that camera to your wireless router. All right, and then just close that. Go back in here. Just make sure your SSID, that's just, Zanhawk is the generic code for it. Uh, whatever they have in there, the generic code. But whatever you, what your SSID is your username. And your shared key is your password. I'll just click a couple of these other ones so you can see. It's all the same, but usually... Most of them are, uh, this one pretty much covers all of them. Put that in there, put, put username for your wireless router. So whenever you're like logging into your wireless router, that's where you would put the username. Um, and then the key is just whatever the password is. Put that in there. Uh, Make sure you go down here once you do that and you hit save. If you don't hit save, it won't take. Save it into the camera. Once you save it, then you're ready to go. So whenever you plug that in, uh, it'll hook up wirelessly automatically. So wherever you're at, it will automatically hook up to your router. But that's how you set it up wirelessly. Um, maintenance, which I'm going to do this now because I'm resetting this. I have these sold. Uh... Just go in here to defaults, and I'm just factory resetting this to all the defaults. All right, and that should cover it. Um, like I said, it's basically pretty easy. Just watch this video. Uh, the main thing on these cameras is just remember that administrator is the password to get into the camera. Don't put anything in the password line. Administrator, all small case. Go back and look in the video for that. Um, if you want to test the cameras out, you can do that without going into the administration. Um, just by simply um, pressing the uh, video button. Uh, you can watch the camera just right on your computer. If you don't want to, if you want to hardwire it, you can do it that way too. I mean, why, but I don't know why you would do that if you have a wireless camera. That just seems uh, seems kind of silly. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, like I said, I hope this helped you out. Appreciate it.